In this problem, we have a table, and it describes orders uh, from a drive through restaurant. So I've already copied the table over here on the left, and the question wants the probability of getting an order from restaurant A or an order that is accurate. So the probability of getting uh, an order from restaurant A or an order that is accurate, that's going to be the number of ways to get an order from restaurant A or an order that is accurate divided by the total number of possibilities. So the or means we use the addition rules as a trick. Whenever you see an or and a table, you circle and add. Okay, just circle and add. So what that means is that all you do is you go to A and you circle all the A's and then you go to accurate. So you circle all of the accurates. And then you add up all of these numbers, and this goes up top. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to add up everything that's circled there. Notice the, um, the 329 is circled twice. You only want to add it once. Okay, so 37 plus 329 plus 262 plus 245 plus 137. Enter. So 1010. That number always goes up top. So again, whenever you have an OR and a table, just circle and add and that number goes up top. To figure out the number that goes in the bottom, you add up all of the numbers. So I've already added up all of the ones that are circled, so I'm just going to add these last three numbers here. So plus 60, plus 32. This just adds up the remaining ones. So that's 1114. Okay, and let's put this in the calculator. 1010. Zero, one, zero divided by 1114, enter. So 0 0.907, I believe it wants three decimals. Yep, 0 0.907, let me write that down, 0 0.907. So again, the key is whenever you see an or and you have a table, you want to circle and add, and that number goes up top. And on the bottom, you just have the total, so you just add up all the numbers and put them on the bottom. Let's try it, 0 0.907. Good stuff. Excellent. Are the events of selecting an order from restaurant A and selecting an accurate order disjoint events? Um, so they're disjoint if they cannot occur together. Well, you can order from restaurant A and get an accurate order. In fact, there's 329 ways to do that, right? You can get accurate orders from restaurant A. So I would say the events are not disjoint because it is possible to receive an accurate order from restaurant A. Let's try it. And that's it. I hope that helped.